students welcome to sunil tutorial i'm sunil melwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as current electricity let's take down a sum please two equal resistances two equal resistances are introduced in two gaps of the meter bridge two equal resistances are introduced in the two gaps of the meter bridge find the shift in the null point find the shift in the null point I will shift in the null point if an equal resistance is connected in series. If an equal resistance is connected in series in the left gap. Now, guys. First, let's consider for condition A. Right? They are saying that the two resistors are connected in series. Let's uh, let let the length of the left gap be L X. So this is going to be hundred minus L X. So therefore, I could say that condition A since <coughs> bridge is balanced. Since the bridge is balanced, I can say that R upon R is L X upon. Since the total length is 100, this is going to be 100 minus L X, right? So I'll get 100 minus L X is equal to L X. 100 is equal to 2 L X. L X is equal to 50, right? Once you have this, next for condition B. What will be my resistance in left gap? <coughs> the resistance in the left gap is going to be equal to. There are two resistors. Each of resistance R connected in the left gap, right? So in that case, resistance in the left gap, since it is in series, will be nothing but R plus R, which will be two R. Now, if I apply the formula, then I can get that. 2R since the bridge is balanced, I can say since the bridge is balanced. Since the bridge is balanced, I can therefore say that 2R upon R is L X upon 100 minus L X. So in which case I can say that 2 is equal to L X upon 100 minus L X. 200 minus 2 LX is LX. 200 is 3 LX. LX is equal to 66.66. So in that case, what will be the shift in the null point? The shift in null point. The shift in null point is going to be. 66.66 minus 50, 16.66 cm. That will be my shift in the null point. Right? Next, take down next one, please. A resistance of 20 ohms. A resistance of 20 ohms is connected. A resistance of 20 ohms is connected in the left gap of the meter bridge. The <coughs> resistance of 20 ohms is connected in the left gap of the meter bridge. And an unknown resistance X is connected in the right gap. And an unknown resistance X. Is connected in the right gap. 
a resistance of 20 ohms is connected in the left gap and an unknown resistance is connected in the right gap. Fine. Next, state on please. The null point is obtained. The null point is obtained. at 40 centimeters the null point is obtained at 40 centimeters where will the null point be if the resistance are interchange where will the null point be if the resistance or interchange. Where will the null point be if the resistance are interchanged? Where will the null point be if the resistance are interchanged? First of all, let's see this. If this is 40 centimeters, we know that the length of the meter bridge wire is 100 centimeters, so this has to be 60 centimeters. Okay, now I can say since the bridge is balanced, since the bridge is balanced, I can therefore say that 20 upon x is going to be nothing but 40 upon 60, right? So I'll come to know my value of x, this is 2, this is 3, so I'll get 20 into 3 divided by 2 is going to be x. So x is going to be 30 ohms. Now they are saying that repeat the experiment by interchanging the resistors. They are asking you to repeat the experiment by interchanging the resistance. So let's see how do we do this. That means I need 30 centimeters in the left gap. 30 ohms sorry in the left gap and 20 ohms in the right gap. So this is going to be 30 ohms here and 20 ohms here, right? Let's assume that this length is LX and this length therefore will be 100 minus LX. Fine, do we get this thing here? So you are interchanging the resistance. So since the bridge is balanced, since the bridge is balanced, Therefore, I can say 30 upon 20 is LX upon 100 minus LX, right? In which case, therefore, I can say that 0, 0, 1, 3 into 100 minus LX is 2LX, 300 minus 3LX is 2LX, 300 is equal to 5LX, 60 is equal to LX, so my null point is going to be at 60 centimeters. Once you come to know where your null point is going to be, next you can find out. Therefore, your what have they asked you to find out? They were asked you to find out the shift in null point. Now, where will the null point be? So you just calculate it where the null point will be. Next, take on next one, please. A meter bridge in a meter bridge experiment. In a meter bridge experiment, in a meter bridge experiment with resistance R1 in the left gap and X in the right gap. The null point is obtained. The null point is obtained at 40 centimeters from the left end. The null point is obtained at 40 centimeters from the left end. With resistance. With resistance X uh, with resistance 
R2 in the left gap with resistance R2 in the left gap and X in the right gap the null point is obtained at 50 centimeters the null point is obtained at 50 centimeters from the left end Where will the null point be? Where will the null point be if R1 and R2 are put in series? Where will the null point be if R1 and R2 are put in series in the left gap? and x is put in the line gap. Let's see this. Now, guys, first of all I can say that for condition A, I can say R1 upon x is going to be 40 upon 60 since the bridge is balanced. So you will get this as x is going to be nothing but 3 r1 upon 2 right next for condition b i can say that r2 upon x is equal to 50 upon 50 so in that case we will get this as um, R2 is equal to X, right? Now, for condition 3, now they are saying that R1 and R2 are in series in the left gap. Therefore, the effective resistance in left gap will be nothing but R1 plus R2. The effective resistance in the left gap is going to be nothing but R1 plus R2 because they are in series. Now, as the bridge is balanced, as the bridge is balanced, I can therefore say that R1 plus R2 upon X is going to be LX upon 100 minus LX. Right? R1 plus R2. R1 can be written as R1 can be written as 2x upon 3 from equation A. Then similarly R2. R2 can be written as x upon x is lx upon 100 minus lx. So this is 5x upon 3x is LX upon 100 minus LX X and X gets cancelled now you should be able to solve you should be able to get the value of LX so come to know at what distance from the left gap will you get the answer uh, will the bridge be balanced the answer for this sum should come out to be 62.5 centimeters right take down X off please A uniform resistance, a uniform resistance is placed in the left gap. A uniform resistance is placed in the left gap, and a resistance R <coughs> is placed in the right gap. <coughs> placed in the right gap. The null point is obtained at 40 centimeters from the left end. The null point is obtained at 40 centimeters from the left end. When a resistance of 10 ohms when a resistance of 10 ohms 
is connected in series when a resistance of 10 ohms is connected in series with the unknown resistance the null point is obtained at the center the null point is obtained at the center find the unknown resistance find the unknown resistance find the unknown resistance since the bridge is balanced i can therefore say that for condition a x upon r is going to be 40 upon 60 which is nothing but 2 upon 3 in which case I could say that I want to find out the unknown resistance I can say r is nothing but 3x upon 2 now for condition b I can say that since in the left gap the 10 ohm is connected in series I can say that x plus 10 upon r is 50 upon 50 so in which case I can say that x plus 10 upon r r can be written as 3x upon 2 is 1 so this will be twice into x plus 10 upon 3x is 1 so you can solve this and get the answer the answer for this sum should be 20 ohms Take down next one, please. In a meter bridge experiment, in a meter bridge experiment, with unknown resistance in the left gap, with unknown resistance in the left gap, ohms is connected in the right gap 60 ohms is connected in the right gap and the null point is obtained the null point is obtained at L centimeters from the left gap Now the unknown resistance now the unknown resistance is shunted by an equal resistance. The unknown resistance is shunted by an equal resistance. should be connected what resistance should be connected what resistance should be connected in the right gap to obtain the null point at the same place to obtain the null point at the same place to obtain the null point at the same place now I can say for condition A x upon 60 should be equal to L upon 100 minus N right so in that case I can say that x is equal to 60L upon 100 minus L right now for condition B now 
write the effective resistance in left gap since two resistors of value x and x have been shunted the effective resistance in the left gap will be x into x upon x plus x so this is x into x upon 2x x and x gets cancelled so that will be x by 2 the effective resistance in the left gap will be x by 2 let us assume let resistance in right gap equal to say R let's assume R is the resistance in the right gap then since the bridge is balanced then I can therefore say that x by 2 upon R the null point has been obtained at the same position that means this should be still 100 of L upon 100 minus L now the value of x we know is nothing but the value of L we can say that or you could straight away say that L upon 100 minus L from equation 1 is nothing but x upon 60 that would be a similar way of doing this up L upon 100 minus L can be written as x upon 60 right so your x and x will get cancelled you will get your value of r r will be equal to 30 ohm answer r is equal to 30 ohm right take on next one please a, uni a wire of uniform cross section a wire of uniform cross section is bent in the shape of a ring a wire of uniform cross section is bent in the shape of a ring two diametrically opposite points of the wire two diametrically opposite ends of the wire are connected in the left gap of the meter bridge are connected in the left gap of the meter bridge uh, a resistance of 15 ohms is connected in the right gap a resistance of 15 ohms is connected in the right gap. The null point is obtained at 70 centimeters from the left end. Find the resistance of the wire before bending. Find the resistance of the wire before bending. Find the resistance of the wire before bending. Now let us assume, guys, let R be the resistance of wire before bending now if r is the resistance of the wire before bending then after r by r after bending each half see diametrically two halves so it's like two resistance which are connected in parallel this is equivalent this upper half upper semicircle is one resistance the lower semicircle is one resistance so after bending it is r by 2 since if i convert it into ring it's 
exactly half the amount of wire will go in the upper half, half the amount of wire will come in the lower half. We know that resistance is directly proportional to length. Since half the length has gone in the upper half, half the resistance will be in the upper half. So after bending, it is R by 2 in parallel with R by 2. So the resistance of the upper half will be R by 2 and the resistance of the lower half will also be R by 2. Right? Let us assume let x be the effective resistance in left gap. Let's assume that x is the effective resistance in the left gap. If x is the effective resistance in the left gap, then I can say that x is equal to r by 2 into r by 2 upon r by 2 plus r by 2 I'm using the formula for resistance in parallel. So you will get r by 2 into r by 2. So this is going to be upon r r by 2 plus r by 2 to r by 2 which is nothing but r r and r gets cancelled so this is going to be nothing but r by 4 so the effective resistance in the left gap is going to be r by 4 now, now it's very simple since the bridge is balanced I can say that r by 4 upon 15 should be 70 upon 30 r is the only unknown you should be able to get the answer for this the answer for this should be answer R is 140 ohms. Next, take our next one please. At what point, at what point the null point is obtained on a meter bridge at what point is the null point obtained in a meter bridge if the ratio of the resistance if the ratio of the resistance in the left and the right gap if the ratio of the resistance in the left and the right gap is 2 upon 3 if the ratio of the resistance in the left and the right gap is 2 upon 3. Simple straightforward sum. Since bridge is balanced, we have a formula x upon r is lx upon 100 minus lx. x upon r is given to you. lx is the only unknown. You should be able to get the answer for this. The answer for this should be answer is 40 centimeters. Next, take down next one please. Two resistors X and Y Two resistors X and Y In the two gaps of the meter bridge the two gaps of the meter bridge give a null point give a null point in the ratio of 2 is to 3 give a null point in the ratio of 2 is to 3 If each resistance is increased by 30 ohms, if each resistance is increased by 30 ohms, if each resistance is increased by 30 ohms, the null point The null point 
is in the ratio of 5 is to 6. The null point P is in the ratio of 5 is to 6. Find x and y. Find x and y. Now for condition A. For condition A, I can say x upon y should be equal to nx upon ly. So therefore, I can say x upon y is lx 2 upon ly 3. lx upon ly is this. Therefore, I could say that x is 2y upon 3. I have the value of x now. Now for condition B, I can say that for condition B, B. Condition B says that x plus 30 upon y plus 30 is 5 upon 6. Right? But we have the value of x. x can be substituted as 2y upon 3 plus 30 upon y plus 30 is 5 upon 6. Now, the only unknown in that equation becomes y. So I should be able to get the answer for this. The answer for this sum should be answer x should come out to be 20 ohms and y should come out to be 30 ohms. Next, take on next sum please. Two resistors x and y. Two resistors x and y are connected. in the left and the right gap. Two resistors X and Y are connected in the left and the right gap of the meter bridge. The null point the null point is found to be in the ratio of the null point is found to be in the ratio of 2 is to 3. When the value of x is changed, when the value of x is changed by 20 ohms, when the value of x is changed by 20 ohms the ratio of the balancing length is 1 is to 4 the ratio of the balancing length is found to be 1 is to 4 find x and y interesting sum I can say for condition A, x upon y should be equal to nx upon ly since the bridge is balanced. But the value of nx upon ly we know is 2 upon 3. So x upon y should be equal to 2 upon 3 in which case x is 2y upon 3. Now the problem is guys that tricky part of the sum is that they said that the resistance in the left gap is changed by 20 ohms. They haven't said that this 20 ohms, is it connected in series or is it connected in parallel? That is what they have not told us. They are saying that for condition B, resistance of left gap is changed by 20 ohms. Now the first thing I need to find out is, is this 20 ohms connected in series or parallel? Right? For which I will look at the new ratio. The new balancing length 
ratio is 1 is to 4. Now if you look at the ratio 1 is to 4 that is 0 0.25 and if you look at the ratio the old balancing ratio that is 2 is to 3 which is nothing but 0 0.66. So you can say that the new balancing length ratio is less old balancing length ratio is 2 is to 3 which is nothing but 0 0.66. 6, 6 and this is nothing but 0 0.25. Now it's very clear that 0 0.25 is less than 0 0.66. That means the balancing length ratio has been reduced. Now we know that resistance is directly proportional to length since balancing length ratio is reduced or it has decreased I can therefore say that therefore the value of the resistance in the left gap should have decreased it's only under that condition will the balancing length ratio be reduced therefore the resistance in left gap should have reduced only if the resistance of the left gap is reduced will the balancing length ratio be reduced. Therefore, if it is reduced, therefore I can say that the effective resistance in left gap is going to be now, the old value was x. It has been reduced, so it must have been reduced by 20 ohms. That's how I come to know that it has been the new value in the left gap is x minus 20. Once you have this, then you can say x minus 20 upon y is the new balancing length is 1 upon 4. Right? Out of which I know the value of x. x I know is nothing but 2y upon 3. So I can say 2y upon 3 minus 20 upon y is 1 upon 4 y is the only unknown, now you should be able to get the value of y. The answer for this sum should be answer x is equal to uh, 32 ohms and y is equal to 48 ohms. From the answer. Next, take one next up please. Next, take down next one, please. Sir, x is equal to 32 ohms. And y is equal to 48 ohms. Right? Next, two resistances are prepared. Two resistances mm -hmm. are prepared from the wire of same material. Two resistances are prepared from the wire of same material having their diameters having their diameters in the ratio of 3 is to 1 and length in the ratio of 3 is to 1 connected in the left and the right gap of the Wheatstone bridge. Determine the null point connected in the left and the right gap of the meter bridge. Determine so the Wheatstone bridge or meter bridge? Connected in the left and the meter bridge. Make that connection. Connected in the left and the right gap of the meter bridge. Determine the null point. Determine the null point. Now guys, we know that R is equal to rho L by A. Since the two resistance 
are made of same material therefore rho will be equal to constant right now a we know is nothing but pi r square r we know is nothing but d upon 2 right therefore i can say that r1 upon r2 will be rho l1 upon pi d1 upon 2 the whole square upon rho l2 upon pi d2 upon 2 the whole square first thing i'm doing is i'm finding out the ratio of the resistance now pi and pi gets cancelled rho and rho gets cancelled so i'll get r1 upon r2 is L1 upon L2 into D2 upon D1 the whole square divided by 2 also will get cancelled. So now I have the ratio of the resistance right now once I have the ratio of the resistance then I can say for meter bridge X upon R is LX upon 100 minus LX where your x upon r we just found out is nothing but r1 upon r2 is lx upon 100 minus lx i know l1 upon l2 and d1 upon d2 l1 upon l2 is 3 upon 1 d2 upon d1 will be 1 upon 3 so this will work out to be 1 upon 3 so r1 upon r2 will work out to be 1 upon 3 is lx upon 100 minus lx now you can solve this and get the answer for this the answer for this should be a null point is 25 centimeters you will get your null point at a distance of 25 centimeters from the left gap when you will get this in here next in the next one is two coils Points are connected. Two points are connected in series in one gap of the meter bridge. Two points are connected in series in one gap of the meter bridge. And the null point is obtained. And the null point is obtained in the middle. The null point is obtained in the middle by putting 75 ohms in the other gap. By putting 75 ohms in the other gap the two coils are now connected in parallel the two coils are now connected in parallel the two coils are now connected in parallel and the null point is obtained the null point is obtained in the middle the null point is obtained in the middle by putting 18 ohms in the other gap find the resistance of each point Let the resistance of the coils let the resistance of the coils be say R1 and R2. Let's assume R1 and R2 are the resistance of the coil. R1 and R2. R1 and R2. 
right for condition A. R1 and R2 are connected in series. If R1 and R2 are connected in series, their effective resistance will be nothing but the sum of their resistance. Right? Therefore, I can now say that, but since the bridge is balanced, X upon R should be equal to LX upon LR. So that means I can say R1 plus R2 upon 75 is 50 upon 50. So you will get R1 plus R2 upon 75 is 1. Now for condition B. R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. If R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, their effective resistance X will be R1 into R2 upon R1 plus R2. That will be their effective resistance. But from equation 1, I could say that what from equation 1, I can say that R1 plus R2 is going to be 75. So I will get x is equal to R1 R2 upon 75. Right? Once I have this, then I can say that since the bridge is balanced, since the bridge is balanced, I can say that x upon r should be equal to lx upon lr so in which case you would have this as x upon r x is r1 r2 upon 75 divided by what is connected in the right gap 18 ohm is lx upon lr lx that's 50 upon 50 so I will get R1, R2 upon 75 into 18 is 1, right? So um, you will give this as R1, R2 multiply this is 75 into 18 that is 1350, right? 75 into 18 and I am cross multiplying that. Now, uh, I could say that therefore R1 is 1350 upon R2. Substitute this in equation 1. If I substitute this in equation 1, equation 1 is R1 plus R2 is 75. So I will get 1350 upon R2 plus R2 is 75. When you solve this, you will get a quadratic equation, the only unknown there being R2. So you should get your answer as, when you solve this, you will get your answer as R1 is 45 ohms and R2 is 30 ohms. Right? Just in case if you get the other way around, also it's the same thing. Basically, you should get the two values of resistor as 45 ohms and 30 ohms. Next, let's see the next thing guys. An unknown resistance X An unknown resistance X An unknown resistance X is connected in the left gap An unknown resistance X is connected in the left gap and R is connected in the right gap of a meter bridge. The balancing length is at 60 centimeters. Right? When R is increased by 2 ohms, when R is increased by 2 ohms. Yeah, sure. 
the balancing length is obtained at 60 centimeters the balancing length is obtained at 60 centimeters if r is increased by 2 ohms the balancing point shifts by 10 centimeters the balancing point shifts by 10 centimeter the balancing point shifts by 10 centimeter now guys basic logic initially the resistance in the right gap was r now the resistance in the right gap has become r plus 2 if the resistance has increased then the balancing length should also increase because the catch in the sum is they've said that the balancing length has uh, changed shifts by 10 centimeters they haven't said on which side so you have to knock the basic logic initially in the right gap you had r now in the right gap you have r plus 2 as the resistance increases the balancing length should also increase so what was 40 centimeters should increase by 10 centimeters so your balancing length in the right gap will be 50 centimeters so this will also be 50 centimeters now for condition a I can say x upon r is 60 upon 40, x upon r is 3 upon 2, what are they asked you to find out? Find x and r, so it doesn't make a difference. So x will be nothing but 3r by 2, for this as equation 1. For condition b, I can say x upon r plus 2 is 50 upon 50, so in that case I can therefore say that x instead of x i can write 3 r upon 2 upon r plus 2 is 1 solve this equation r is the only unknown in this equation we should get the answer for this as r should be equal to 4 ohms and x should be equal to 6 ohms right okay we'll stop this here for the day thank you very much